One, two, three. One, two, three. And hello, fellows. Hero gone here. Today is Tuesday, August 8th of 2023. It's now 8.26 p.m. and I've been having a bit of a decent week so far. Now with... Now there hasn't been too much going on, just your typical stuff of going through this week's tutorial, and I've also been working on my character model, as you can see for a moment here. The unfortunate part is with regards to rigging. As if you notice, my character is split up into various different parts. Just like a lot of character models, such as Breath of the Wild, that allow for many ways of customization. Whether you want to have a short sleeve sh shirt, no sleeve, etc. It's pretty important to at least have this on hand. If, unfortunately, with regards to the mesh itself, or at least the longer shirt, it does end up having a hard time. Same can go for how the elbow deforms. I am not entirely sure how I can get corrective shape keys into Rigify, but at least things are going decently. Uh, or should I say a bit rough on me. But I do hope to get through it someday. So yeah, that's pretty much it. what I've got for and what I've been doing across the past few days. So let's get into the fighting game framework improvements. Now going now going this week, we have ourselves double KOs or double knockout for those that want to get more specific about the meaning of KO. Now, a, a double K knockout is essentially when two characters are able to punch each other at the same time and have lost all their health at the same time. This can be very useful to give a sort of different way to tie things. And look at that, a double KO. Now, with regards to the not double knockout stuff, it's uh, probably pretty rare that it happens in fighting games. But I have no doubts that it can happen. Whatever can happen will happen. That's the sort of thing you'll eventually learn in life. Now, the... There are also other improvements here, negating damage after a character is won around, and adding extra messages to the heads-up display, like the double knock out or double KO thing that you saw right here in Sean's own tutorial. Going into the code, there's plenty of new things to go around with. We have ourselves a few new spots in Receive Damage that have gotten upgraded. Now our in, now everything is with in the the if statement of game mode match state does not equal round over or and does not equal round over draw. If if it does not equal that. And we've got a lot more logic to go through. I probably won't have the time to go through all of them, so I will go through what's been added. Going down to if other player, we have our... Actually, if we go around to somewhere here, do note that that right now I have not really done the script stuff. I still haven't done that before. With uh, regards to these little videos here. So yeah. 
do pardon if I tend to be a bit slow on finding some stuff. And let's see. And now we've got ourselves the game mode round one. I finally found it. Instead of using it an if statement to check if the game mode was valid, the game mode has already been validated for a while, so we just have this within here. If other player combo counter equals zero. That is a bit unrelated, so yeah. Going into the game mode.cpp, we have a new function, the header file, called round draw. We also have two functions for displaying the draw text and double KO text. And they're, these two display texts are blueprint implementables, and whilst round draw is a blueprint callable as usual with most of these functions. Going into the game mode, we have a new thing of round draw. If auto base game instance equals cast you base game instance, get game instance is valid. Our round time will equal base game instance round time, which was from long ago. And so we've got this just this new line here. Display draw text which will display our draw text, or tie next text to our HUD. Now going back into here, it's into the receive damage stuff itself. If you'll bear with me to check on stuff. Actually, we have ourselves end combo. This is where our new double KO stuff is at. I'm sorry if it took a while for me to find this. I tend to do these videos unscripted, so bear with me here. We've got a particularly new part around here. If player health is less than or equal to 0.0f, we display our double KO text. And if rounds 1 plus 1 is less than game mode, num rounds and other player rounds 1 plus 1 is less than game mode num rounds then we do our game mode of round 1 this and that is pretty much what I've got for the code part now going into the blueprint part there's a two new blueprint events, event display draw text, and double KO text. We get our HUD reference, which is base game HUD variable. With regards to draw, we make the draw text set timer by event, and after two seconds, we begin our round after draw and trigger our new round messages. Originally, we were doing that in the event graph, when our, we got to our state of round slash match draw, when we entered that state, but now we no longer need that since that is now in the default game mode BP. Easy enough. Now with regards to double KO, it does have that same thing, but we won't need that. Go into the base game HUD itself, we have our text here, middle screen text, and we have two new functions, which are make double KO text and make draw text. We just set the text, and in our text we'll say whatever we want it to say, such as draw. Our target is middle screen text, and we set the visibility of this middle text here to visible, because it is hidden by default in the game, or at least will become hidden by the time the ready fight is done, and that is where things are at. Now going to the gameplay itself, 
I'll go into settings, put things at 60, then rounds to win. Actually, I'll have to do that again to make sure it's already good. Let's see. There we go. Ah. Technical difficulties with some of my stuff. I do apologize since this is just a framework that I've been following from Sean the Bro's own tutorials. There can be technical difficulties at any time. I, I'll probably have to figure out sometime soon, but for now, I'll leave things there. We'll go into versus practice, choose our mutants as usual, then our typical ready fight stuff. Now I'll try to whittle down our character's health so they're essentially the same. And soon enough we'll get to that point. It will take some time to at least get all the attacks out so they're way down to health. And of course, as you can see, there's the typical damage decay whenever you're trying to continue a, an attack. Whoops, I'm sorry about that, but it seems that I accidentally knocked one of the guys out first. I do apologize, it can be tough to get both of them off, so yeah, this could take a while. One. And of course, as you can see, it does take a lot of time. I'm sorry if I do tend to try and talk during some of these times when there's just almost no noise. I'm working on, I've been doing this on an old iMac 2017. I'm not exactly the best at doing certain stuff around here. I definitely say I'm probably not entirely cut out for something like YouTube as some kind of business. To be fair, I don't know. That's the whole thing with regards to my Fun Log Friday slash Showcase Saturday stuff. Serves as a nice little chance to see how far I've come down on the old memory lane, which is definitely something I'd like to least be able to do one day. And as you can notice, uh, dang it, I'm really sorry about this, but it seems like with regards to my damaging, I'm not so good at trying to balance things out. But, so you're, I guess you're gonna have to take my word for it with regards to how it works and and you'll have to see Sean the Bro's own tutorial to see how it works, so I do apologize if I've stretched things out this long. I guess I'm not as good at balancing out the health stuff to even show you the how the double KO works. So yeah, to those that are watching, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to meet the demand of showing you how how it works in my copy. 
Anyways, credit goes to Sean Lebro for all of his Unreal Engine tutorials. They've been pretty amazing so far. And I still look forward to seeing each and every one of them every Sunday and even on Fridays. If you're wanting to join in game development, I should make a fair warning. It can get tough. And I do hope that with that toughness, you'll soon learn the ropes just like I've been trying to do with these tutorials. And with all that... I've been Hero Gone, you've been you, thank you for tuning in, and for now, I have to tune out. Goodbye, everyone.